Hey friends and fam, Kent Brindley. I'm a local cinema fan. Almost every, almost every weekend I have to see one movie, it seems like. There's at least one movie that I want to, that I would like to see once. And if a new release doesn't come that I'm interested in, isn't at the theater, I will happily see a good movie again, preferably with a different set of friends or more people. Um, that being said, I saw four movies last April. I could have sworn they were all April premieres until, well, I just looked it up. Um, I'm... This is not going to be like the Batman. I'm not giving you... I'm not shooting four separate premieres. Okay. I mean, I'm not shooting four separate uh, reviews. Let's sum up April at the movies. Let's do. Shout out to more theaters. South Michigan Theater here in South Haven. The April, prem the April movies in order of premiere. The Lost City actually surprised me by slipping in March 25th. Morbius was the first Friday in April. Then Sonic. Then Fantastic Beasts Secrets of Dumbledore. In the order that I saw them, you flip Morbius and Lost City. In hindsight, it did take me a couple of weeks to finally go see The Lost City. Um, in ascending order of interest, before I got to the theater, in ascending, or, uh, ascending order of interest, this is after seeing previews, or just based on... Well, yeah, based on the previews. Or based some somewhat on the franchise. In some cases. In ascending order of interest previewing. We have Sonic 2, Dumbledore, Lost City, and Morbius. Lost City sort of, sort of won me over for the previews. Morbius, because it was a Marvel film in the previews, made it look really good. For Sonic 2, uh, I had already seen the first movie and was not impressed. And in the case of Dumbledore, I've just never been a fan of the Harry Potter books. The movies are okay. And the facts that Universal Studios turned half, um, some of their lot into Hogwarts makes it a very fun place to visit. Yes. Whether you like the Harry Potter movies or not, the Hogwarts section of Universal Studios is worth a visit. Now, surprise, surprise. Even I can walk into the theater with an open mind. In order of actual enjoyment post-viewing, The Lost City. If you saw the if you saw the previews and the trailers, you saw what was worth seeing of the movie. Good job, trailers. Number three in order of actual enjoyment. Morbius. I should have learned this lesson from what I should have learned this lesson from watching Suicide Squad and it should have stuck. Jared Leto can quit playing comic villains. He can quit being typecast as a comic villain. It doesn't work. They did take the anti-hero role with Morbius by pitting him against a real villain. Uh, honestly, I gave Morbius a B-, and I can't even remember what merited that. Um... Not every Marvel Cinematic Universe film can be 
Spider-Man No Way Home. And when that sets the bar, the next Marvel film in line is going to fall short. Sonic 2. Much better than the first one. And I do love the inclusion of Tails. Maybe Knuckles, yes. It's Tails and Knuckles. And Dumbledore. If you walk in there and treat treat Dumbledore as a fantasy film, not even necessarily as a Harry Potter film, it's enjoyable. It is actually pretty good. It's got some good writing and some good fantasy elements to it. The problem is there are so many witchers witchers? Witches and wizards. Uh, uh, and it gets really hard to keep track of. Anyone save the name Dumbledore. Because it's right there on the marquee and it is the o and Dumbledore really is the only character who survives and to grow older into the Harry Potter franchise. My name is Kent Brindley. I like the movies. I'll probably be back to you next May. Ah, wait, are you telling me that this really deserves a, a, a post credit scene? Really?